Fishing with Adam is brought to you by Dynamic Lures, Fishing's Innovative Angle. Thanks for tuning in with Fishing with Adam. Today we're going to go over some basic stuff. Uh, you just, um, it's our first fishing trip since the summer, and we're heading somewhere close to home. This Vivian Park Pond up Fort Canyon. And uh, from the looks of it, it's in bad shape. So, uh, bad fishing conditions, I predict, I think. The water's low, there's a lot of moss growing, and it's, uh, which means the water's really warm, and the holes are limited. Um, the fish aren't going to be everywhere around the corner, you got to find the holes, because uh, that's where the fish will be. Um, behind me, there's one huge pole, and it's the deepest one in this pond, and uh, it seems to turn out the most fish when the water's this low. Um, I'm going to stick with the HD Trout by Dynamic Lures. Uh, they look like a Rapala, they're not. These are HD trout. They work better than Rapalas. They have better action. They have better colors. The only reason I would use an a Rapala is for the different colors that they have. Um, but of course, these have most of the different colors that you'll need for fishing. And uh, this is a Glimmer trout. If I remember correctly, Glimmer or Natural Life. It's one of these. And uh, jerk bait, just a short jerk bait. And you're just going to cast it out there and retrieve or let it sink. Slow sinking jerk bait. And uh, we'll see if we we'll catch something. Now, naturally, since the water's warm, I would assume that the fish are more active, um, which they, have, they would uh, have more energy than they would have in colder water. And uh, they stocked about a thousand trout into here, uh, maybe less a couple of weeks ago, I want to say. That's probably far, farther back than that. And uh, the way that the fishing looks today, no one's here, so hopefully it's been that way for a while. Be now, because the fish, I would think, would have more energy. You want to reel in the lure faster. If you reel it in slow, it looks a little uh, suspicious to the fish. If you reel it in, pretty good speed. The fish are fast enough that they'll chase it down. Even in cold water, they'll chase down the lure. And uh, so I'm not reeling in super fast. I'm just reeling in enough to get their uh, get their attention. I'm just gonna let it sink. I jerked it a little bit to get it dive down two feet. Wait. Now usually I count to a minute because it doesn't sink very fast, but it sinks fast enough. And, um, I'm going to start reeling it in now. Now, this jerk bait, I like to reel in. Um, this specific, well, I like to reel it in because it looks like a swimming fish. The action on it is incredible. Tie action. Uh, natural. Something you would see with an actual small minnow coming through. I thought I saw a follower. That was in the first fish I've seen today. That was. Now this hole that we're looking at, this hole that we're looking at goes uh, over here to the edge, there's a brick wall, then over here, just, just to uh, your left over here, my left, and uh, I would say four, maybe four and a half, almost five feet in the center, and I know there's some big trout in here, I've seen monstrous trout in here, um, I wouldn't mind catching one of those, I can tell you. Now, from what I can see, I'm going to have to pick out the structure where I think the fish might be. I've cast it over the middle a couple times, but it seems to have had any hits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look towards the edges of the hole, where the weed, there's weed and then just drop down in the dark. I'll use that to um, uh, look for fish that are uh, taking kills. I'm bringing this one right down. Oh, got too slow. Maybe 
also want to be careful where you cast it. You cast it over the hole, and you're on the weedy side over there. You have some weed, maybe dragging the weed off of that hole. And if the, if the fish see, sees that, they're going to be spooked. Now what I'm trying is I'm trying different retrieval speeds. Now the different retrieval speeds I could find the fish that uh, fish that might be biting or more aggressively or just find the fish that are a little spook. Um, of course this is middle of the day, sun straight up, it's noon or one o'clock. I, want, I think I'm going to give it a couple more casts before I switch to a, 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 a probably a spoon, Some, something I can get a little, a little bit easier. That's really how you want to work uh, fishing areas uh, when you first get to them. You want to start at the top and work your way down. You start somewhere half between and you're going to have to figure out um, what kind of lures can get you where? It's, called, it, it's just a whole lot easier to start from the top and go down. Now we're throwing on a gold spoon. This gold spoon uh, is gonna, it's heavier, so it's going to let me get deeper. And uh, hopefully the different uh, pattern is going to get the fish's attention. Something else I uh, forgot to mention is that I'm using about two foot four carbon liter. At least two feet. They have Nano Phil Berkeley line up here, and then just a barrel swivel in between. Okay. Um, it's important that you have a swivel at some point on your line, and I decided to put it right here because if you put it down here, it just adds to the giant look of this. It just doesn't look good. Now remember, the fluorocarbon is invisible in the water. It's uh, see, it's the light passes through, which makes it invisible. Now the reason I have a leader on this is because the Nano Phil is not not so much invisible as you can. Probably see it's white, and then fluorocarbon. Probably can't see that. Now, uh, I'm gonna fish the same areas along the uh, left. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, next time we'll hit some uh, a place with more fish than this one for sure, and uh, hopefully the water will be cooler by then. Uh, the over overall uh, ponds and everything in this area will be uh, cooler. That way the fish will come out more. The trout especially. Um, if you got any questions or comments, let me know, and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, watch my other videos, subscribe, and uh, good fishing. Thanks for watching Fishing with Adam. Feel free to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Fishing with Adam. And like our Facebook page for more tips and videos and pictures of our weekly fishing trips. Hope to see you out on the water.